Hello, Last Midgen here with you with episode 9. I have done a lot of stuff behind the scenes, as you can see. Big tower. Big tower of ores, not just copper. You can see my work down there. And I've also done a lot of enchanting. I got a mending villager. So now I have my silky lost pick and my fortunate lost pick. I made some diamond stuff. And I'm pretty sure I'm all set when it comes to gear at the moment. So we're going to mine down all these um, ores. There's like 11 um, diamond ores at the bottom. As you know what's true and YouTubers say. Lots of mining off camera. <laughs> I was convinced just to make a creative world and just to um sort of copy the, one of these buildings or something. And just show up with like mountains of diamonds behind me being like... Yeah, I did a bit of, um, mining. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I need that despawn. But yeah. So we're going to mine down this tower, and then we're going to get to telling everything about this going to happen. Everything that has happened, and everything that's going to happen throughout this episode. It's going to be a long eventful episode. We're going to get lots of things done. But I'm going to show you that... When I actually have the stuff to show you it. I'll be right back. And we're down to diamond level. Let's see how many diamonds we get out of this. diamonds, 35 redstone, a whole lot of lapis, even more coal, not all that much gold, some iron, and a lot of copper. Alrighty. Just chuck a bit of that in there, a bit of that in there, and yes. I've designed this part up a little bit more. I'm going to add a lot of um, different tables, just to make the area look nice. I made this look like it was cutting down a tree. Even though it's a stone cutter, but still. <laughs> I made my little garden. Which I am ultra fond of. It's a tiny, tiny little garden. But I have made a cute little... I made a cute little um, waterfall there. To make it fit the size of what it is. Something else I need to do is I also need to name these two. I haven't figured out what I'm going to name them, but I'm really going to name them something cute. Does anyone have any ideas what I should name them? Because I think they need names. So I can let them out of their boats and just put them in like a room or something. That'd be cute. But for the main part of today, we have three plans for the day. Yesterday we said we're going to do the iron farm. And that is true. I have figured out what I'm going to do for the iron farm. And I've actually decided I'm probably going to do what um, Impulse's design was. That's an iron farm breeder and just an iron farm as well. Which I think would be a lot of fun and that will very well suit the bottom area of my um, little temple over there. My villager temple. So first things first is bees. I'm going to set up a beehive. I'm going to make a lot of bee nests once I get this one working. And it's going to have a similar colour palette to... um. The house and everything here. Very simple, it's gonna have coloured glass, it's gonna be just cute for the bees. We're going to be making our um, potato farm and we are also going to make sheep farms. Because so after our last hassle with the sheep, I am prepared to finally put them in their own little boxes and let, well, let the game deal with them and not me. <laughs> Here is where we're going to be building the um, bee farm. I, I plan on making it a nice big thing because I really do love Minecraft bees. They're really, they're really cute. So first of all, we're going to make a cute block palette. We're going to dye the glass. 
And from there, we're gonna get a lot of things done. And we're back. I finished building it. It was very quick, very easy. It's very simple. It's just a temporary build anyway. And now we're just setting up all the flowers. I think we look cute scattered around. Flowers. The rose bush. Really I reckon that make it look really cute, really nice. Let's gather around some of the flowers. Where about the flowers? Wait, let me throw, let me throw. Oh, sun's setting again. Okay. Anyway, let's just put down a few more flowers. And we should be all good. Perfect. Before the sunset, this is the build. And once I go to sleep for a quick sec, I will, we, we will release the bee. Let's go. And it's time to release the bees. Actually, I will actually take some flowers in to breed the bees. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's two bees in this nest. I might be wrong. Are you coming? Please come out, please come out. Do the bees hate me? I can't hear them inside. Hello? I don't want to break it. <gasps> there it goes! There's the bees! I can hear them! Oh, exciting! We got some bees! One door at a time, one door at a time. I should really coordinate these doors a bit better. But anyway. Stuck in a flower. There you go. <laughs> you can't touch things inside of a flower. Come on, give me stuff. I got one bee. One bee, one bee. Oh, there's gonna be a second one. Come on, second one, second one. Please come to me. I think this design is really cute for a bee house. Beehive, I should say, not bee house. I like it. When the grass spreads, it'll look a lot nicer too. Project number two, potato farm. Yeah, there's supplies and we're ready to go. And the potato farm is done. I just need to spread the potatoes out a bit more, but that is looking pretty good for a potato farm. I fenced off all the farms so that I know this is carrots, potatoes and wheat. Which is very helpful for trading with villagers to be able to know exactly which one's which. Once I get an actual villager um, system going to um, collect some food, I'll probably no longer need this, but for right now it looks really cute. I've been bringing up my bees. Now I have even more of these. Is that a wandering trader? What's a wandering trader? I have even more. Oh! Where's the llamas? Even you sound confused. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I just need two more there. I've been breeding up my bees and hopefully that should go pretty well. Where, where, where are your... Like, yeah, you've got some alright trades, but where are your llamas? Are they up there? Tales of the Missing Llamas. You guys are over here, are you? Like, what are you doing here? You know what? He obviously doesn't like you enough. I'll take care of you, don't you worry. He obviously doesn't love you enough. I don't think I need blue eyes yet. I don't need any of this right now, actually, so go away. Okay, will these guys get angry with me? Since they didn't actually see me kill him? Or they just automatically get mad at me? Let me see. 
apparently nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. Nobody died. Don't worry, nobody died. He just um went and left. I told him I had you guys, and he just left. So. So yeah, don't question anything. It's all right. I think I just settled that pretty nicely. All right. Since we've done the bees, who are producing very quickly on my side. And we start our potato farm. So now we can actually use these little farms over there. That little one over there. We can probably start taking this one down soon. As soon as we start doing the automatic pumpkin and watermelon farm. It's going to start off as a watermelon farm. and probably evolve it into a pumpkin and watermelon farm. For now, they're just going to stay here. And then I'll hopefully have the um, pumpkin pumpkins as well and I will do that farm over there as I said at the beginning of um this whole thing that I will definitely do that and last but not least we're going to do the most annoying one of all is work with these brats I despise all of you just need to figure out how many there are Wait, I know exactly how to do this, actually. Shame. And now, we're going to do the sheep farm. This will be a lot of fun. I'm going to it right here. So it's out of the way a bit, and it's easier to tear down. And I can just take it over the hill to get to the sheep over there. I think that's a pretty good idea for them. And that should work out pretty well. Let's begin. And we're back with the sheep. This was really difficult. The sheep were very annoying, very troublesome. I had to accidentally kill four sheep. So I had to have two of the sheep breed. These two were the nicest ones to put away. It's not the best system, but I just wanted an easy, simple system, which is only temporary. So it doesn't work the best, but I just wanted it to fit um, the general aesthetic of the house and everything. And to suit the desert vibe as well. I plan on doing more with the roof, but I need... I probably am going to use different blocks though. Because the same aesthetic is great, but it's good to mix it up once in a while, I think. And I'm going to try a different kind of... Oh, it's hard to explain, but you know those roofs where... They're sort of squarish, but then they have this um, high part, which is like a dome, like a semicircle. I want to try to experiment with one of those roofs. I want to see if I can manage to do that. That look, that'll be pretty fun to make, I think. But yeah, this is the basic um, sheep farm. It was very difficult to make. Um, the, the, the place itself was easy. I just had to figure out what the block pallet. But the sheep, oh, they they were hard. They were annoying. Moving sheep is not easy. But yeah, I wanted today to be about um, just three things that really need to get done. So, the bees, which I've been producing nicely. We have the sheep, which I've been needing to do for a while. And we have the potato farm, which I've been super hyped to do. My bees are doing wonderfully. Constantly giving us more and more... Um, honeycomb which is great I'm really proud of that plus it's actually a very cute build for some bees it fits the aesthetic of bees and I love it so attached to the farms we have all three farms I need to finish filling out the potato farm and of course the sheep farm which I do think it looks adorable over there we just need, I don't, well, I, well, yeah, we, we need to um, work on the roof. As I see, I was going for the um, pale, paleness of that, and I was adding it here. I need to gather a bit more blocks for it, because as you can see, I'm missing some, um, some gates. I figured it wasn't that big of a deal, because it's just a temporary building, so I don't need to um, make it perfect, but I am going to try to finish it. Um off camera as you can see the farm despite producing um, stuff it's not the best I just thought I would do something cute for them instead 
It's more so for the looks for this one than it is for the actual production. And for when we go netherite mining, which is probably going to be next episode, I believe. Because I actually am beginning to really want netherite. And I'm also going to be working on the iron farm tomorrow. So I'll probably do some digging for the iron farm off camera. And then we're going to try to set it up. I'm going to do a bit of research first. I'm going to make sure that it actually is going to work. <laughs> because I want to, I want to actually produce a lot of iron. Because I get plenty of iron from these guys already. Like, I get lots of iron. But I think a nice constant supply would be much better. So yeah, I do think this will be the end of this episode 9. It's been a lot of fun. I've gotten a lot done. And it's kind of been a lot of joy to get things done. Right now that just looks very awkward without the actual roof on it yet. And I plan on cutting down this tree, even though it looks kind of cute there. I plan on moving it. I like the attempt at a little garden there. And I got a bunch of opera, copper oxidizing. And I still have plenty of copper left, so I really do need to start using more copper. I use my iron for the um, shears and hoppers. Which was expensive, but not as expensive as I originally thought. I somehow thought it would be much more expensive making this setup than it was. I ended up making more than I had to, but that ended up working in my favour. Because I made 20 hoppers instead of 10. And then I was like, I realised I needed um, hopper minecarts, so I just did that system instead. So the extra 10 hoppers came in um, clutch. So sometimes accidents can be um, surprises. You don't know. I think it's cute because while well, the other buildings don't really have much depth, like downward depth, or I forgot what the word for that. This one is just all downward. <laughs> it's just a simple one for sheep. The grass is growing back nicely. A good view from it is from up here. I need to go here. I always make that jump, except when I'm recording. <laughs> Yep, I'm just waiting for the grass to grow back. Yeah, it's actually reducing much faster than I originally thought it did too. To be fair, there is a lot of sheep here. Oh, I need that back. There's a lot of sheep, so it's no real surprise. So yeah, I'll catch you guys once I go to sleep. I'll catch you guys in episode 10. I plan on having a nice, mostly chill episode for episode 10. It's just mostly going to be working on the iron farm and netherite mining. So I believe that that would actually be a lot more simpler, a lot more easier. I know this episode's coming out a bit later than intended. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's because of um, some stuff out of my control and the um, sheep. <laughs> and the sheep just took way too long. <laughs> like, I was original. I, I had another design for the um, actual place, but I decided this was much cuter. And occasionally, you'll hear one of these opening and closing. Because of the um, redstone. But that's all fine. It's only temporary after all. Because after a while, I'll move it up to the temples and we'll have it there. So, yeah. So, as always... Have a good morning, noon, night, evening. Have a good time. I'm wishing you all the best. You're doing amazing out there. Keep up the good work. You're all doing great. And I'll see you in the next episode.